<clears throat> Hi, FlexTube friends. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. <clears throat> Today is technically, it's still technically March 17th, 2024 at approximately one minute to midnight. <clears throat> coming to you today with a flash tube update. My name is Tina Frazier, and as I said, I live in Columbus, Ohio. This is my YouTube channel where I talk mostly about my love, cross, love of cross stitch, but also love of other crafting and other things in my life like roller derby and other hobbies that I have, including <clears throat> diamond painting and perler beads and just everything like that in general. So thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, hopefully you'll find something here that will enable you to start something new, try a new craft, or just um, have something to listen to as you go about your day or your business, whatever you happen to do. If you're a returning watcher, thank you very much for stopping back by. Um, those new watchers of mine, I like meeting new friends, so thank you very much. And those people that have that are stopping back by to watch again, thank you very much for stopping back by. Having friends around is always really good, especially here on YouTube. And hopefully uh, you will continue to stick around and be my friend. For those of you that are subscribers, thank you very much for being a great friend and deciding to follow me in all my crazy adventures here on YouTube. So... I encourage you, if you haven't yet already, to click the subscription button below and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do upload new content. So this video today is going to be a bit of a retreat wrap-up from the Stitching in the Springs retreat in Yellow Springs, Ohio that Mom and I went to last weekend. It is hosted by Kat Jones of Valkyrie Stitchworks, and it is held at the Mills Park Hotel in Yellow Springs, Ohio. <clears throat> Sorry if it sounds like I'm a little, I've got like a frog or something in my throat. I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> but anyway, you'll probably hear me clearing my throat a little bit. I apologize for that. But yeah, it does sound kind of weird, like I have something stuck in my throat or something. Anyway... Um, so this video is going to be a little bit of a, of a, a wrap up. I have a little bit of haul to show you from the retreat. I have not yet picked up my market orders from my local leader workshop here in Columbus. I do expect to be picking them up tomorrow. I do have, so little life update, um, little life update. So, <laughs> It is now officially after midnight, so technically it is officially March 18th, which is my birthday. So hopefully those of you out there who celebrate St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, had a really great St. Patrick's Day. Ours was really good. We just uh, went to Skyline Chili for lunch. Skyline Chili is a Cincinnati chili restaurant here in central Ohio or in the Ohio area that uh, is basically a meat-based chili with cinnamon in it that is served over spaghetti and piled high with tons and tons of cheese. So for St. Patrick's Day, the, the Skyline Chili locations, food color, they're spaghetti green. So we had green spaghetti. I will put a picture of that probably up here in the corner or insert it here for you so you can see our green spaghetti today. But we also cooked corned beef and cabbage in our crock pot today. So we had traditional Irish corned beef and cabbage. Well, I don't know if it's traditional Irish, but we had corned beef and cabbage for dinner tonight and it was really, really yummy. But anyway, so I have a tomorrow and Tuesday off from work, thank goodness. Uh, I do have a lot of work going on. It, it kind of sucks a little bit right now because there's an audit going on, an internal audit, and it just really kind of sucks because, you know, prepping for that, we have to get pulled off our regular work and our work is backing up, or at least mine is to a degree. So I'm going to be playing a lot of catch up this uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday just to um, get everything caught up. But anyway, um, so tomorrow is technically today because it is after midnight, but March 18th is my birthday. 
So we're going to, I'm just going to kind of hang out and just kind of do a lot of nothing or a lot of everything. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. And then tomorrow night we're going to BD's Mongolian Barbecue for dinner with friends. So that'll be fun. Looking forward to that. Um, I go kind of picked that to go to every year um, just because, you know, you can order whatever you want. And it's just kind of a fun little place to hang out. So we have about 10 to 12 friends meeting us there for dinner and it should be a lot of fun. So looking forward to that. And then Tuesday, I just have an extra day off because I needed to take some days off before the end of the month um, just to use them up before they disappear. So this video is going to have a stitching in the Springs Retreat um, wrap up, um, a little bit of haul. And I had a finish today, so I'm going to be sharing that with you to, tonight as well. So this first little bit, Mom and I headed out to the Stitching in the Springs Retreat hosted by Kat Jones of Valkyrie Stitch Works who is the, I think she's like a director or event coordinator or some such uh, position person at the Mills Park Hotel in Yellow Springs, Ohio. She puts on the retreat there every year. And um, this is, I think, the fourth or fifth time that we've been to the Stitching in the Springs retreat. And it's a lot of fun. The hotel is a real small hotel. There's only 28 rooms in the entire hotel. The registration for the November Stitching in the Springs Retreat has opened for those who have previously attended. I don't know yet if it's, um, I don't know yet if the registration for uh, non-prior attendees has opened yet, but uh, you can get information, I'll put the um, link for the information on how to get uh, registration information for the November Stitching in the Springs Retreat if you're so interested in it. So hopefully uh, you'll get some inspiration and if you've never been to a Stitching Retreat, this one was really nice. The uh, spring one that just happened was actually smaller than it has been in the past. Normally this retreat has about 50 to 60 attendees, so it's pretty small in comparison to some of the stitching retreats that you can attend. But um, this one, we only had 18 people, 18 to 20 people at the stitching retreat this weekend. So instead of being in the ballroom like we have been in all the other Stitching in the Springs retreats, we were actually in the conference room on the second floor. So you'll get to see the new um, the new to us stitching room and kind of a little bit about it. I also show you another tour of the same room that mom and I usually get assigned to when we go to this retreat. We're in room 304 again. But anyway, so I'm going to insert all the videos and clips and pictures of the Stitching in the Springs retreat for you here. Hi. Hi. I'm Tina. Hi, Mira. And uh, we're in the car. We are at Sheets. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. I don't know if you can. Anyway, sorry for making you car sick, seasick, whatever. We are on our way to a stitching retreat in Yellow Springs. Yep. So it, this is the um, March Stitching in the Springs retreat hosted by Valkyrie Stitch Works and Cat Jones. It's held at the Mills Park Hotel in Yellow Springs, Ohio. We have about an hour drive to get there. We are currently at the north end of Columbus at the Sheets on 161 and 71 and uh, we are headed to the retreat. So are you looking forward to it? Oh I'm looking forward to it. What are you looking forward to most? The friendship with all the people. Well there's not going to be so many people this weekend so we're in a different stitching room. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. And uh, so there's only going to be probably about 20 people there this weekend or so, give or take. So it's going to be rather small, smaller than it was in the past. Yeah. So it should be interesting. We're going to be in a different, a totally different room in the hotel, which will be a new experience for us. Yes, it will. So that's fun. And it is raining. It's supposed to rain, I think, all weekend, isn't it? No, it's supposed to be nice Sunday. I heard it's supposed to be cold, though. Yeah. So... Anyway, we are on our way, so we will check in with you later on this weekend, and um, have fun. Bye! Bye! Let's stop. 
So hi everybody, Mom and I made it to the Mills Park Hotel here in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Normally, this is for the Stitching in the Springs retreat hosted by Valkyrie Stitchworks, Cat Jones. Normally, the stitching room would be right here in this ballroom, but we're uh, it, this retreat is a little smaller uh, this time, so we're going to be in a different room in the hotel, so this will be kind of exciting. Anyway, we made it. It's a little afternoon, probably about 12.15, between 12.15 and 12.30 p.m. on Friday, March 8th, I think. Anyway, so uh, getting ready to go in and check out the stitching room and maybe get some lunch here at the restaurant. So, see you in a bit. Hi everybody, Mom and I are staying in room 304 again here at the Mills Park Hotel in Yellow Springs, Ohio. We're on the third floor, so I'm going to go ahead and turn you around. So this is the elevator and right across from the elevator directly is room 304 here at Mills Park Hotel. So when you step off the elevator, if you go to the left, you have the seating area over here to the left. So you have the seating area on the third floor. These ice machines, or these ice containers are really neat. So you lift here to get the ice. And they're just little chest freezers with bags of ice in them. Um, so walking into room 304, this is the front corner. I think this is the front northwest corner of the hotel. So go ahead and do this. So you walk into the room. This is what you first see when you walk in. All the rooms here at the hotel are different, slightly different than each other. Off to the left, right after you enter, is the bathroom. So you have a single sink area. This room has handicap accessible wheel in shower seating, shower, and handicap accessible bath. They also provide a shower seat for you, but the showers, the shower in this room is really nice. Um, it has the adjustable um, things for you. It also has a very low lip bath um, floor to get in and out of. And the neat thing is the water does not pull down here in the main area. So really nice, accessible room so you walk in there's the front door you walk in you have a nice coat storage here then you have your uh, little microwave refrigerator area bar set up over here and you have a little desk in the corner built in no I guess it's not built in it's a separate thing and then in this room let me step back a little bit you have two I believe they're queen size beds so nice room um, I think all the rooms in here have hardwood floors except they do have rugs um, so this room is on the northwest corner of the hotel which is why you have a window out there that window faces the street the main street this window faces the driveway into the hotel and the businesses down the main street. So the street out there is the main street. So I'll walk you over here to this window. So it has the wood blinds here. So you can kind of see the main street. There's a business down here right here, this business here with the patio. That is, I believe, a tobacco shop still. Yeah, it's a smoke shop. But down the street, um, down the street about where, about where this building is, that brick building there, there's an awning just beyond that. So where this green awning is, right there, that is a grocery store, a little local grocery store. Um, there's the hardware store with the kitty cat that we went, that Sebastian and a couple of us went and visited a couple years ago. It's right here on the corner. That is the hardware store with the kitty cat. 
And then there's book, a bookstore and some eateries, and just some neat places to shop from the um, from the hotel that you can get to. So that is the main the main street. Then we're gonna come around over here to the front of the hotel. So looking out the front of the hotel, here is like the city park. I think this will open, yes. So these will open. I should have opened this over there. So this is the city park, the view of the city park. The first stitching retreat that they had here back in, I wanna say 2019, 2018, something like that. Um, it was in November and they did the tree lighting. So this tree, that's the big tree that's out there. They did the city tree lighting right there. So Santa. Santa Claus came up the road on a fire truck. And they had um, carol singing and all kinds of activities going on at night right here. It was a really neat place to be uh, for their tree lighting ceremony. And these are just city city buildings. But um, the roof there, so you can see the second floor balcony. And then right underneath there towards the that other end of the hotel is where the restaurant is at on the first floor. And then this roof is um, the store. So we are two floors above the store, the gift shop. So the gift shop here is open 24 hours. And basically you take any item that you want to purchase from the gift shop over to the check-in desk. Um, and... Uh, They'll either add it to your room or you pay for it at the, um, the check-in desk up front. But the gift shop is open 24 hours. They do have snacks and some wines and beers and uh, ice cream and some different kind of um, small food stuffs, food stuffs that you can purchase. And I believe that brick building across the way is a school. Yes, it is a school. So anyway, down that way is more stuff. Let me take you over here and get this, get you a better view of the street down here without the blinds in the way. So, you can open these up and then you get a better view of the street. So you are looking north. This is, I believe, Highway 68 heading north. If you head straight north that way for about seven to eight miles, you'll pass Young's Dairy on the right hand side and then you'll get to 71, um, Interstate 71, which is um, the interstate, no, 70, Interstate 70 that goes east-west through Ohio and kind of bisects right through the middle of Columbus. So you are looking north right now. Neat little kind of rainy day here in Yellow Springs, Ohio. We're just kind of, we're west of Springfield, kind of just east, southeast of Dayton. So about an hour to an hour and 15 minute drive away from Columbus. Yellow Springs, Ohio. All right, so turning around, looking back at the room. So you have this bed here, and then you have the entry, the, uh, little bar area, the desk area, and then you walk back over here. So this is a really large room, and there is the door, and off to the right around the corner is the bathroom. So, that is our room. So, Mom and I are looking forward to the stitching retreat. I just checked in, got our stuff up to the room, and I'm heading back to the stitching room. We are in the conference room on the second floor. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's kind of different. It's kind of small. There's only about 18 of us here this weekend. And so it's really, really kind of quaint and quiet and really nice. So we're looking forward to lots of stitching this weekend. So hope to see you soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. So hi, everybody. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Yellow Springs, Ohio. We're at the Mills Park Hotel for the Yellow Stitching in the Springs retreat for March. And I am on the second floor balcony overlooking the front desk of the hotel. Our stitching room is down this hallway in the conference room. You could probably lightly hear the ladies talking and kibitzing. So I'm gonna be taking you into the stitching room for Yellow Springs Retreat. 
across the little hallway over here, there's a little seating area and the bathroom for the uh, stitching room. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch directions for you and uh, take you into the stitching room. So I'm going to go ahead and switch directions here. So this is the lobby. And we are on the second floor in the conference room. So in the November retreat, we are in a banquet hall, which is down this hallway here on the first floor and uh, towards the back of the building. So we're going to head into the stitching room. So we are on the second floor down the hallway. This is kind of above the cooking area of the restaurant. So we are in the conference room. It's the only conference room in the hotel. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out for you a little bit. So we are in the stitching room. I'm going to peek over people's shoulders and see what they're no, stitching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Just peeking over your shoulder, Trina. Oh. <laughs> I look so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Thank you. I'm gonna look over your shoulder for a minute and get ya. Uh, uh, yeah. The bottom of my big fish. Yeah. It's a big. You have a big fish story coming up soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna peek over shoulders. May I see what you're working on? I am. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That is really pretty. I love the colors on that. Really super pretty. And she's got a nutcracker going on over here. Mm -hmm. Is this your second one or third one? Or? Uh, third. A hundredth one, you said? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> she's working on the nutcracker right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the nutcracker corner. Yes, it is. All you, nutcrackers all the time. You may uh, remember this. This is a Shannon Christine nutcracker. Yeah. It's beautiful. You almost done with the beading on it? No, I'm working my way down and there's all kinds of beads all the way down to his toes. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. And both of these ladies are working on Halloween pieces on this lovely fabric. What's the fabric from? It's a, uh, oh, but tossed it away. <laughs> it's like... That's okay. the last one I found. I can't remember. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Solar is the color, but I can't remember. Show that. Yeah. And her mom's also stitching the same thing. <laughs> Come back over here. So she is working on a. Um, yeah, so I gave her my car and I said, here's my Discover Go. You know, you can fill it up. City scene for the city of Boston. This is her right in front. She is working on the Lola Crow. This is my stitching right here. This is the cottage garden sampling, Deer in the Woods Bald Eagle. I had to actually frog out my tree right here because my tree was a little wonky earlier. This is mom. Say hi. Hi. How are you? How are you having fun? I'm stitching and enjoying the conversations. Okay. What are you stitching? Uh, what am I stitching? She always, she's upside down today. But, oh, I can't, there we go. She is doing a Shannon Christine Easter Bunny. 
Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. That's what she is stitching. And she's got her dinosaurs out. That is so cute. ABC Dinosaur Stitch Along by Clouds Factory. Yeah, very cute. Thank you. Nice. Deb has a Gengar. I'm going to take a sneak peek really quick over your shoulder. There you go. Gengar. Her outline matched, so look. Yep. <laughs> Gengar attacks. Cat. I'm working on Maori from Fellow Filipina. Very nice. And I'm doing the beading as I go, so I've got all the beads in right here and all the crinic as well. Very nice. Thank you. And we already saw her. She was doing the long dog again. So that is everybody here at the retreat. And then we have all the stitching room up here. So over here is the freebie table. So these are all the freebies up for grabs. Over here is the brag table. Look at this. This is the kiss. I don't know the name of this mermaid. This is Cat's Evolution. It's really, really pretty. Coming along really nicely. More and more done. One of the ladies brought a lot of her Mill Hill ornaments, so I will try my best to show them to you. This is a Brooks Books. This is one of the Brooks Books Whoops. ornaments. I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> she brought her whole container of Little Mill Hill ornaments and Brooks Books ornaments and various ornaments. Lots and lots and lots of ornaments there. This gingerbread house is absolutely cute as heck. And it's mostly beads. This has some really nice weight to it. We have a little Christmas cupcake. Whoops. Beautiful, very beautiful snowflake. Look at that snowflake, you guys. Very beautiful. Little Christmas candy. We have a Santa stocking. We have a candle. Advent candle. Another Santa Claus. A really pretty. This is almost all beads. Wreath. Well, it has quite a few beads on it. And then we have the Christmas lantern. Oh, this lantern is beautiful. That is beautiful. So somebody brought in a lot of their Mill Hill Christmas ornaments. So I will get these back in the box as best I can.
Up here, I believe, is a Glendon place. Alright, she's in progress. We have another Mirabilia lady, pretty lady. I'm gonna stitch it. Master of Horror. This was a finish that the lady had yesterday. And the space balls, the cross stitch. Then we have this very nice pile of stuff. So we have these butterflies. Oh, look at that. Look at her. She's really cute. <laughs> really pretty Queen Elizabeth. Look at this. This is, I think, called Angel Procession. Look at this. This is one you don't see very often stitched. Very nice. And look at this beautiful stone and glitters. All those beads. All those cry all that cry hair. So that's the bottom one. Get these. So this is the brag table. Get Oh, yeah. Lady of the Flag. Did we see the lady? We didn't see the Lady of the Flag. She's a Lady of the Flag. It's very pretty. Very nice. Lots of pretty things on the brag table. And then our store, we have lots of needle minders here from Valkyrie Stitchworks. Kat, the coordinator for the retreat, this is her business, Valkyrie Stitchworks. She brought a lot of her needle minders. We also have kind of a trunk show for Live and Die in LA. These are some of the things that are available and also from Valkyrie Stitchworks. So we have all these stickers and needle minders from Live and Die in LA. Practice stitch craft. Practice stitch craft. More needle minders and scissor fobs. And then we have the Live and Die in LA fabric and flosses for sale. All of these are for sale here this weekend. That's it. So I will take a view of the room from this angle. So this is our room. I'm going to step up. Fine, thank you. Oh, and then I brought some of my needle minders. So these are some of my needle minders that I have for sale. And then over there in the corner we have, or behind uh, Deb and Kat, we have the uh, snack bar and coffee and drinks. So that's it. That's the stitching in the spring st stitching room here at the March Springs Retreat. Wish you were all here. So hopefully you enjoyed all the information and all the um, videos and little clips and pictures and stuff that I took at the Stitching in the Springs Retreat. So a funny little story. I, um, so it's not so funny. So the, the piece that I finished today, I was working on at the retreat, I was working on hands-on design, hop on in. So you probably have seen that. Um, so I'm going to pull it out for you now here. So this is the hands-on design hop on in. 
pattern. You've probably seen quite a few people stitching it. Um, I started this in February last year as a part of, I believe it was a stitch along or some sort of, um, it was either a stitch along or part of a Facebook challenge group uh, prompt that I had or whatnot. I believe it was a stitch along though. So I started this February 26th, 2023. I took this to retreat with me because I was hoping to finish it because I was, I had, um, all of the letters here, but I needed to do everything from excellent service all the way down, um, including the carrots and the vine right here. So I wanted to do this um, at Stitching Retreat and get it done. And I was really hopeful that I could get it done on Saturday. But I had left the dark orange silky thread in the carrot. I, have, I had left that dark orange silky thread at home. So I didn't have enough thread to finish it. So I worked on it a little bit on and off this week. And today I sat down and got it done. But um, anyway, so because I didn't have enough to finish it. So the funny thing is <laughs> I pulled out um, Cottage Garden Samplings, A Year in the Woods Bald Eagle to work on. You've seen this um, piece in the past. I only had a little bit down on the tail done and some of the, one of the trees that's below the bird done on this piece. And so I pulled it out Saturday to stitch on it. And I ended up with a wonky, a wonky tree. And I will show that to you here. Give me just a few minutes. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this up here for you. All right. So you can see my tree, my tree here, <laughs> or here, is uh, quite a bit wonky. <laughs> so yeah, I had to, I had to frog all of, I put all these stitches in down here. So yeah, all of these stitches, so all of these stitches down at the bottom, I put in, this is about 40 stitches or so that I put in. I had to frog those on Saturday and restitch it. I did get it restitched, though. So, um, when I restitched it, this is, so this is what it looked like restitched. So I did get it restitched and it straightened itself out. So <coughs> thankfully I was able to do that. This is the start of the house that was underneath that. So I will be showing you, I will be showing you the, um, the progress on that to go as well. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I had, um, came home this week and I wanted to finish this up. I did find that the spool of thread that the spool of silky thread that I was missing for it, um, color number 1833, which was the dark orange. I did have it in my stash. So apparently I, I only pulled five of the six colors I needed for this out to kit it up <coughs> when I was ready to go. So I only had five of the six colors, but today I have a finish. So here we go with hands on design, hop on in. This is on a piece of 32 count chalkboard linen using the called for sulky flosses. So this is 32 count. I'd used one strand of silky floss. You can see the coverage on it is really nice. So this is one strand of silky floss, which is equivalent to approximately one and a half DMC threads. Not quite two, but a little over one and a half. So this is the coverage that you get with the silky floss. One strand on 32 count over two. I really like this. This, is, this ended up being really super cute. One of the things I tend to also sign my cross stitch patterns. So if you look here at the carrot, you can see here, there is my initials TLF. And then over here, I put in 2024. So that is when I finished the piece that sometimes I put in the month and year. Sometimes I put in the month and year I start and then the month and year I finish. Um, this one, I just happened to put my 
my initials and the, the year I finished. But you can't really see it. I mean, you can kind of when it's a little farther away, but the, it just kind of blends in. So if you've never considered signing your work, it might be a good idea to kind of keep, to help you keep track of when you stitched the piece, you know. So I've been kind of doing that. And I find some sort of inconspicuous um, part of my piece. To... So sorry about that, you guys. The camera, the camera kind of... Um, Kind of froze up on me as it does but anyway um i would encourage you to consider just uh signing your work whenever you get a chance um that way you'll have kind of a record if you don't already keep a record of um when you might have finished your piece and also for generations to come assuming that your stuff stays around family members or Whoever happens to get your piece at some point in the future will know when it was stitched and maybe who it was stitched by. They might not know you, um, but they'll have at least some sort of record on the piece of who stitched it. As of yet, I don't know how I'm going to fully finish this, but anyway, my hands-on design hop on in is uh, the stitching is finished. So I finished that this evening after dinner. It was a fun stitch. I really enjoyed stitching on it. Um, really cute piece. All right. Um, at the stitching retreat, as I indicated, I worked on hands-on design, um, Year in the Woods Bald Eagle. So this is the Bald Eagle by Hands-On Design. You can see the tree down there. That's the wonky tree that I was stitching on. And then you can see the house. So I got a little bit more done on the house um, while I was stitching it. This is stitched on Be Stitch Me fabric. I got the fabric, um, the four pieces of fabric from Be Stitch Me that um, they dyed for this series of patterns. So here is where I got to on a year in the woods so you can see i've gotten the house a little bit um i'd like to get this is whip go this is my whip go so um this is 40 count and i'm stitching this one over two on 40 count using dmc floss um the colorway on this one is the colorway on this piece is called Spirit of the Forest. This is the summer, the summer colorway. So this is B Stitch Me Spirit of the Forest. And I'm it's 40 count even weave. There we go. 40 count even weave. So Spirit of the Forest. This was a piece I started in July of last year. My mom. <clears throat> helped me pick it out. It was her birthday in July, so I had her pick out my one of my July pieces to go. This is on my large nerd hoop. And it's in my orange zipper mesh plastic mesh project bag. I have quite a quite a collection of these bags. <coughs> I really like them. The only problem is is the large nerd hoop is just a little too large to um, zipper it up. So that is where I got on that. Um, the only other piece I've worked on so far in March um, is the Mill Hill Gym Shore Puppy kit. Um, I don't know if I showed you all my progress on it so far, but um, this is where I'm at. <clears throat> on the gym shore puppy. Yeah, I've been working um, here in, the, this is his leg. He's um, sitting. So this is his leg. You can see his leg, his bent leg. So um, he's coming along really well. I don't know how much longer I will get on this. I finally finished my uh, whip go 
my rib goes square for this. Um, so that is basically all I have for you for that. Um, I don't have too much in the way of haul for you. Um, at the Stitching in the Springs retreat. So we have these little, these nice little canvas pouches. And in our canvas pouch, as our swag back, we were given these nice little needle uh, froggers, these nice little froggers. I believe this came from Kat. So we have these nice little froggers. So, whoops, they're just beaded. They have a, um, a lobster clasp, but they're beaded, and they have a frog charm and then a needle on the other end. This might not have been from Kat, but this was something that we picked up at the Stitching in the Springs retreat. Everybody got one of these. Um, I don't remember if it, this was made by somebody, but I think Kat made these. Um, but anyway, we got those. Took a couple of Polaroids because my husband was, um, here's my badge stitching in the springs. My husband was like, take your Polaroid camera and take a couple of pictures. So I ended up <laughs> taking <laughs> taking a couple of pictures. Uh, not so such a great picture, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I took a little goofy picture of myself and then I took a picture of mom and I. So this was my little Polaroid camera. Oh, and... The muffins that we had for breakfast. Um, so I took my Polaroid camera. Um, someone else had given these out to everybody and I thought this was a great idea. This might have been actually, it might have been Kat. I can't remember because I don't remember who we got what from, but they had tweezers. The interesting thing about these tweezers is that these tweezers are a needle minder. So you see the magnets on the back? So now, oops, I just lost the uh, the little plastic thing keeping the tweezers um, closed. But tweezer, needle minder, you guys. So now you can magnetize your tweezer to your work. So this is, this is kind of a neat little thing. This is stick me to your project lighter stand so you always have me near at hand. Use me to remove stray fuzz, frogged threads, or cat hair. Specialty fibers. So we got these, so that was kind of nice. I think everybody had the black tweezers. Um, right over here. Everybody got a neat little, neat little goodie bag. And it has these little, these little nice scissors. So we each got a pair of scissors. Um, so they have this little rubber thing and, um, little tiny pair of scissors. These are real sharp. I um, got mom and I a pair of these to travel with, but these are really nice scissors to have in your stitching bag. And then we just got some treats as well. Um, one of the older ladies there, Trina, she gave everybody these little goodie bags. She handmade these, these little, these little pouches. And um, her pouches had these little teeny 2024 charms on them. And inside her pouch, these are really cool. She gave everybody some seeds to plant. And so these are, um, these ones are sunflower seeds. So I got Lemon Queen sunflower seeds. It's not gonna focus. And then I got Yellow Daisy seeds. So thank you to Trina for giving us the seeds. That was really great. Have to plant those out this year. Ooh. Um, another, another nice little gift we received. This might have actually come, um, I forget who passed these out, but we also got these, uh, these um, tape measures. So it has a button here so you can retract it. So we got these tape measures to also stick in our goodie bags. Another kind soul 
Um, Allison Norris. Allison made everybody a little uh, mug rug. I don't know if it's necessarily a mug rug. It is, yeah. So the neat thing about this is, so this is for Ohio. Whoops. Sorry, this says Ohio on it. But um, you can take a wine glass and actually slide the wine glass base into here. So it'll open. You can slide the wine glass base into there. So this will hold your wine glass. Also, um, you know, you just use it as a mug rug or a can koozie or whatever for stitching retreats. So this is probably going to stay in my stitching retreat bag now. And that is it. So we got the nice little thing um, with all our little freebie goodies and stuff. And I just packed all my freebie goodies in here. I didn't do a whole lot of a whole lot of purchasing at Stitching in the Springs. There was a trunk show by um, Live and Die in LA, L I V E and D Y E. Live and Die in LA had another trunk show there. So I was eyeing some of the fabric. And mom decided to buy me a piece of fabric for my birthday. So my mom's birthday gift to me was a piece of Live and Die in LA fabric. 40 count linen. So let me take it out of the bag. This is called Winter in My Heart. Beautiful blue piece of fabric. So this was a birthday gift from my mom. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Absolutely stunning. And it's 40 count. So this is Live and Die in LA, Winter in My Heart. 40 count linen. That picture, that color there is pretty much true to word. And the back, interesting thing is, is the back is slightly different. So. Yep. Very neat. Um, I am stitching on some Live and Die in LA fabric and um, using Mosel floss for um, another piece of mine. And I'm looking forward to getting more into Live and Die in LA fabric. So that is really cool. I also have some Live and Die in LA flosses. I didn't get any flosses this time, but this was a birthday gift from my mom. Um, the only other thing I bought... Um, Kat Jones, who runs, who uh, coordinates the Stitching in the Springs Retreat, she has um, an online shop and she sells needle minders and stuff. So I got mom a needle minder. She picked out a um, kind of a uh, cosmic little kitty, really cute. So um, I also got myself a needle minder. I got the Ouija board, the Ouija board needle minder. So this is a uh, cat's. Cat's Business, Valkyrie Stitchworks. And I also got the Disney Castle Snow Globe. I thought this is really cute. Cat is a very big Disney fan. So she's been to the Disney parks as recently as this last year. So she is a real big Disney fan. So she has she's had a lot she has a lot of Disney stuff available. But I got two new needle minders. Um, for that and that was all I had for haul so you've had the updates and you've had the haul and I don't have anything else going on right now except <laughs> I am gonna show you my whip go board so far I don't know if I've updated it spring awakens all right so yes the only two that I have left on my whip go board I have it down here, the 40 Count Plus Project, A Year in the Woods, Bald Eagle. So I still have 400, I have uh, probably 300 stitches, maybe even 200 stitches left on that because of the stitching in the springs, stitching that I did on Saturday. And then um, for the second square for March, I is a project that is part of a series. I am doing Spring Awakens. This project bag is a um, kind of a light blue 
light blue plastic mesh. But the Spring Awakens that I'm going to be starting, it may be a start for my birthday. Um, this is a series by Summer House Stitchworks. Spring Awakens. I am not doing the called for colors for any of these. So there's four, four of these patterns in this series. There's Spring Awakens. Summer Refreshes. Autumn Provides. In winter cometh. So I am starting with um, I am starting with Spring Awakens. My local needle workshop here in Columbus crossed my heart. Um, the one of the co-owners, Carol Grant, she stitched the Spring Awakens in some actual spring colors because this colorway just doesn't spring doesn't yell spring to me. So I went through some of my stash last year when I picked up the pattern and I had some stuff that I thought would actually work really well with it. So this is, I was wrong, this is um, a piece of color and cotton fabric. I was in the color and cotton, the um, Crazy Annie's Crazy Annie's Fabric of the Month for 2021. I was in her thing. This is a 36 count Edinburgh Linton. So this is color and cotton called Fruit Punch. That is pretty much the color of it. It's very, very, very like pink. And I am using most sale cotton flosses for this. I picked out four cotton floss colors that I'm going to use and I think it's gonna be absolutely pretty. So it's going to be stunning. I think I showed you this in one of my last videos. So this is going to be the um, Spring Awakens <coughs> for me. So this is probably, this might actually be a new start for me tomorrow because this is my Whitco, my second March Whitco square. So for the rest of March, I'm going to be focusing on um, <coughs> the Bald Eagle and also um, Spring Awakens because those are my remaining Whipgo squares. So the most sale colors that I'm using on this, the um, there is Poussin, Easter Sky, Fanta, and Disco Bunny. Those are the colors that I am using for this. I think I went over that. Um, in my last video as well, but this is gonna this is gonna be my um, my second March Whipgo square. So for the rest of the month, I will be doing Whipgo and also doing some other stuff. Um, really quick. Oh, um, for semi scene stitchers, I am gonna be doing the five. 55. So it's five sets of 50 stitches to earn five entries in their drawing. My 555 entry, which I'll probably be working on tomorrow, is my stained glass Hello Kitty. It's in my happy birthday bag. This one came from um, Made by Mama Joan. This is Made by Mama Joan. Um, I got my birthday bag. This is my stained glass Hello Kitty piece. So this is Stained Glass Hello Kitty. I have this in Pattern Keeper. I'm not using the paper pattern. But um, if you look here in the middle, so the Sanrio characters' words aren't very clear. They're also not charted very clear. I'm probably going to take out the word character and then just chart in Sanrio real big here and do my own charting for that. Um, but where I'm at is up here in the Gangadon part. Um, I'm kind of finishing that and doing this. So I'm hoping by the end of this year that I will reach the um, Little Twin Stars and Cinema Roll heart. So I'm kind of working, I'm kind of working it diagonally like this. So I'm hoping to get here, which means hopefully I'll be um, getting into Pachaco. Um, <clears throat> I'll be doing the Tuxedo Sam. I'm not sure who these, these people are. Um, and then this Bats Maru. So I'll be doing some of them, some of the, you know, 
Pachaco, Cinema Roll, Little Twin Stars, Bats Maru. Um, and I'm not sure who these are. But this is Gangadon. So yeah, I am going to be working on Stained Glass Hello Kitty. I'm not very far into it. This is so far where I've gotten to. And I have my Hello Kitty needle minder on there. And I'm working this uh, one over one tint on 32 count, easy count, pre-graded fabric. And um, it's going along pretty well. I'm uh, enjoying it a lot. And I am parking, which is why you'll see those strands hanging down there. So this is, this is going to be a plan. I'm probably going to be working on this tomorrow before I start anything new. Um, before I start the Spring Awakens pattern, just because I want to get the semi-sane uh, 555 um, stitching completed. So, that is basically all the plans that I have for... Um, for that for um, I am also doing the March uh, 2024 24 hours of cross stitch um, 24 hours of cross stitch acrostic so we have get your ticket for March Madness I have a couple of them finished pop culture stitching challenges the um, March acrostic is luck of the Irish luck of the Irish I have a couple of them finished and Magazine Monthly Challenge, because it's my birthday month, my birthday um, theme and acrostic is to the party. And the um, acrostic is Chariot. I have a couple of those done. And then for Stitcho, here is my Stitcho board with some of this stuff marked off. Um, I still have to add a couple other stitches, but um, that is pretty much what I'm just going to be stitching on. Um, so I actually had quite a bit of non-stitching done this week, um, mainly because of the retreat last weekend. I just um, wanted to not stitch nearly as much. But tomorrow and Tuesday, I have the days off, so hopefully I'll be getting some more stitching in. And that is all the updates that I have for you tonight. This actually may not be that, well, I don't know how long the stitching in the spring stuff is going to add to this. So anyway, I just thought I would come with you, come to you tonight with um, my update for you and um, <laughs> share with you everything else going on. Um, I don't know how soon my next video will, will be released. Um, so hopefully if you click the subscription button below and click the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Um, I, was, I have been saying that I want to try and do this about every two weeks, but um, it, it hasn't been happening. <laughs> and I'm sorry, not sorry about it, but um, just lots of stuff going on in my life. And I'm not really sure um, how much catch up I'll need to do at work. So I may be pulling some late nights and long days working um to get the stuff completed but yeah so um mom and i are going to another tr another retreat in the beginning of april up in warren ohio i we went to the first for the first time last year in uh october so we're going to the spring retreat again in april so we have another retreat in april we've registered for the november stitching in the springs retreat um so that is really good. We got our registration done on Friday. We're all set for that. We got our hotel and everything. So hopefully we'll see you there in November. Um, and as I said before, I will put the information on how to get updated on the Stitching in the Springs Retreat in the description box below. That is all I have for you this week. So we shall see you very soon. Keep your head up and keep moving forward, and um, hopefully my new year, my next year on this earth will be a great one. I have lots of plans, 
I have lots of goals. I have lots of things I want to do. So hopefully 53 will be very good to me. So anyway, that being said, we'll see you soon, everybody. Take care.